Angie Klaus here. I have a very special story today. This story is by special request of Luke Fitch. It's Harry Helps Out. Written by Thomas James and illustrated by Veronica Buffington. Today is Saturday. It is a day for helping. Harry is going to help his mother and father. There is a lot to do. Harry's mother is going to clean the house. Harry's father is going to wash the car. What is Harry going to do? How can I help? asked Harry. You can help me clean. You can help me vacuum the living room rug. It is fun to vacuum. Rrrr goes the vacuum. <sighs> goes the dust. Here is the cat. The cat likes to sleep on something soft. The cat is sleeping on the rug. Here is Harry. I have vacuumed the rug, he says. Now I want to clean something else. What is Harry thinking? Meow, says the cat. What shall I vacuum now, says Harry. I want to clean something else. Here is Harry's dog, Sherman. Harry looks at Sherman. What is Harry thinking? Sherman likes to be clean, says Harry. Sherman barks and barks. Sherman hates the vacuum. Woof, woof, woof. Here is Harry's mother again. Thank you for cleaning the rug, Harry. But I don't think the dog and the cat like to be vacuumed. Perhaps your father would like some help. That is a good idea, says Harry. I like to help father. Harry's father is washing the car. Harry turns on the hose, but he forgets to hold on to the hose. Water is squirting all over. Water is squirting Harry's father. Turn off the water, shouts Harry's father. Turn off the water, Harry! I am sorry, father, says Harry. That's all right, Harry. Here. You can use this bucket and sponge to wash the car. Harry's father goes in the house to put on some dry clothes. Now Harry is washing the car. He is so happy that he forgets where the bucket is. Splash! Poor Harry. He has put his foot right in the bucket of soapy water. Oh dear, says Harry. Now I've done it again. Here comes Harry's father. His father helps pull his foot out of the bucket. Better put some dry shoes on, Harry, says his father. Perhaps you can help mother now. In the house, Harry puts on dry shoes. I'm ready to help you, mother, says Harry. I have finished helping father. What are you doing? I am baking a cake, says his mother. You can help me stir the batter. Here is the batter. It is in a bowl with a big spoon. Harry is stirring the batter. The spoon goes round and round. The batter goes round and round. Oops. There's more batter outside the bowl than inside. Harry's mother says, I think that is enough stirring, Harry. I will finish making the cake now. Perhaps you can help Grandpa. Harry likes to help Grandpa. Harry goes downstairs to the basement. There is Grandpa. He is making a model ship. Hi, Grandpa, says Harry. Can I help you? Sure, Harry, you can help me, says Grandpa. I need someone to help me glue these little pieces together. Would you like to do that? Oh, yes, says Harry. First, Harry puts glue on one piece. Then he puts glue on another piece. Then he sticks the two pieces together. What fun! The glue tickles Harry's nose. It itches and itches. 
Harry feels as if he is going to sneeze. Oh, no, Harry. Don't sneeze, shouts Grandpa. Achoo! Too late. Harry sneezes so hard he blows all the little pieces right off the table. There are pieces on the wall. There are pieces on the floor. There are even little pieces stuck in Grandpa's beard. I'm sorry, Grandpa, says Harry. Oh, that's all right, Harry. Everyone sneezes now and then. But I think I know how you can be of the most help of all. Come upstairs with me. First, Grandpa goes in the kitchen and whispers something to Harry's mother. Harry's mother smiles. Then Grandpa whispers something to Harry's father. Harry's father smiles. Then Grandpa whispers something to Harry. Harry smiles. Can you guess what Harry's grandfather whispered? He said, We are going fishing. Harry is going to help keep me company. Now Harry is the best helper of all. That's the end of the story. I hope you liked it, Luke. If you would like to request a special story, just get in touch with my mom, Shara Klaus, and she'll get back to you. Bye-bye for now.